Hello, welcome on into another video. Today we have some unfortunate news regarding 1.21. You see, it was around this time last year that we got basically the second wave of content for the 1.20 update on February 15th. This was a big snapshot with things like the Cherry Grove biome, the sniffer, and the introduction of archaeology. However, we have yet to see an equivalent to that snapshot this year for 1.21. In fact, the concerning thing here is that we've barely seen any more content for 1.21 aside from what was shown off at Minecraft Live several months ago. Now, I already made a video sort of talking about this a few days ago, but there is something that's changed since then. You see, in that video I talked about if it's time to panic or not for 1.21's success as an update. And I arrived at the conclusion that we shouldn't really because we could be getting a big snapshot in a week or so. And honestly, by that I mostly meant February 21st. And then that day came and we didn't get a snapshot at all. And that's quite rare during the development of a major update, aside from when Mojang is on break. And according to Sliced Lime, the reason for there being no new snapshot this week was due to technical issues earlier in the week. Although, he said that the issues have been resolved now, so there should be a snapshot again next week. Although, there was no explanation offered for there being no new beta or preview on Bedrock. But the thing that I want to focus on here is the use of the term technical issues. Because, of course, that's a very vague term that could mean a lot of different things. Like, that could literally be something as simple as the Wi-Fi in their office wasn't working. Or, on a more positive note, it could mean that they're working on something big for 1.21 and needed some more time to finish it. This could be some kind of major feature that they were having technical issues with developing. And there are two things that almost immediately pop into my head when I think of this. The first one is the Illusioner. I've already talked about in a previous video why the Illusioner would be a good fit for this update. But the thing about the Illusioner, and probably a big part of the reason that it hasn't been added yet, is that there were many technical issues regarding it. For example, its illusions would just float in the air or pass through blocks when they weren't meant to. So there's a chance that the developers were working on adding the Illusioner to 1.20, maybe even as a new boss and they just don't have it quite ready yet. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about was that this could be referring to a new combat system in Minecraft. Because this is supposed to be a sort of combat update after all. And there are a lot of technical issues that could come from working on a new combat system. Especially when, let's face it, they haven't focused on major systems in a while. Like, combat and cooking are still quite in need of overhauls. Now as of to which one of these is more likely, I'd probably go with the combat being reworked because that's been so heavily requested by the community, and also this is a great update for them to do that. But I'd say the Illusioner also still has a pretty good chance of getting added in this update at some point, because it would make for a quite good combat challenge for the player to face, but still do keep in mind that there's the possibility that these technical issues were something more unrelated to the 1.21 update because the last thing I want to do is overhype the community, <laughs> because there's definitely been a problem with that lately. Anyway, back to the main topic here. These technical issues could be something else related to the 1.21 update. Maybe they're regarding a different new feature or something that's being added, or it could even be new redstone mechanics that are being worked on, since tinkering is supposed to be a part of the update. Anyway, the final thing here is that things are starting to look bad for 1.21. I mean, for comparison, by this point during the 1.20 development, we'd basically gotten about twice as much content for the update as we had initially seen at Minecraft Live. Potentially even more, actually. Meanwhile, for 1.21, there's barely been any new content aside from what was shown off at Minecraft Live. And to say that's troubling or concerning, I think is probably a big understatement at this point. 
but next week we could still see one of the big features that I talked about earlier. So what I'll say is just try to stay hopeful. And don't get me wrong, that's difficult in times like these, when people have been so unhappy with recent Minecraft updates, and this update is still looking very lacking in terms of overall content. Even still, the fact remains that that could change at any week now at this point. And that's what still gives me some hope for 1.21. And I understand completely if it's not enough for some people. But anyway, that's all for this video. Please do consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me a ton. And if you want a more in-depth discussion about the situation of 1.21, I do have a video talking about that from a few days ago. So if you're interested, you can of course check that out. I hope to see you all in another video, and for now, goodbye.